everyone, welcome back. Hope you're all having an awesome Monday. I'm Stacy, and this is the For Bricks and Giggles YouTube channel. For today's speed build, I actually have a couple of smaller Space Police 1 sets. So stick around to the end to hear my review, and let's get started. So here we have the completed builds. So these are two separate sets. The smaller one is called the Message Decoder. It's set 6831 from 1989, and it's only about 25 pieces and comes with one minifigure. And then the other set is set 6895. It's Spy Track 1, comes with two minifigures, and is about 135 pieces. Altogether, both sets took me about 20 minutes to build, so super quick builds, but I really love these vintage sets. So as for the Message Decoder set, this was actually a gift from a subscriber someone had ordered from me in my BrickLink store, and then use the return address to send me this, which I thought was very sweet, very nice, kind of the coolest thing to ever happen to me as far as social media goes. So obsessed with this little set, the Space Police one sets, there weren't a lot of them. There's I think five or six super limited run on sets, but I really love them. And I had gotten a bulk lot purchase several months ago. I did a video on it that had this set as well as a larger Space Police set. And I was saying how much I loved them. They're just so different than anything else LEGO has put out. And they sent me this because of that video. So very cool. Absolutely love that. And this is a great little set. I love the color scheme for the Space Police One sets using the blue and translucent red colors together. And then the black, I just think sets it off in a really unique way. The minifigures are really great. I just really love this torso design. It's very classic space and just so beautiful with the translucent red visors. I think that's a really neat use of that color for that piece. Like I said, really sets it off to be a different looking space theme than any other space theme. It has these great classic wheels and the traditional Space Police One logo on the front. And this is kind of a delicate area. These antenna pieces are easily knocked off, but you can lift it up as well. So that's a nice movable piece there too. And then it comes with a couple of little controls for steering your little vehicle. So a great little build. I mean, honestly, I wish LEGO would bring back some more sets this size, particularly if they come in boxes. I love the tiny box sets they used to make. Typically now they're put into poly bags and I really wish they'd put them back in the very miniature boxes. So a great little set there, a really nice little display piece if nothing else, but obviously hours of fun for this little guy. This other set comes with two minifigures, so one that is exactly the same as the one I just showed you, and then a Blacktron 1 minifigure decked out all in black, another really classic theme and classic minifigure. 
just with the same standard head that all of the other ones come with during this time. I think these again are very classic. Not many minifigures are fully decked out in all black. The air tanks, the visor, so very unique looking minifigure there. And I love the use of the hinges for this set. So there are two sets of hinges underneath that allow it to twist and turn. You can steer it depending on which way you have those hinges turned. So it kind of almost like bends each direction, which I think is very cool. And as you do that, it moves the center piece from side to side. I don't know who came up with that idea, but I think it's a great idea. I'm not sure if that hinge piece is still in production, but it was a big piece during this era. A lot of sets had those hinges and they're a great functional piece. So I'm not sure if they're still being used. I can't tell you that I've seen that piece used in the last 10 years for any sets that I own. So I'm not sure if it's still in production, but if not, I think it definitely should come back into production because it's a great piece. I also love this kind of pod they have in the back, it does slide off and it's kind of like a little jail cell. Got a great translucent red window here, which is a beautiful piece. You got the Space Police logo on either side used to capture your Blacktron 1 guys. And then they use the translucent red bars as well. So those antenna pieces used as kind of like jail cell bars which I think is a really great design that's used in a lot of the Space Police 1 sets that this build to create this kind of jail cell pod is in several of the sets from this theme. So a really cool little build there. So that just slides in and out on the back here, which I've never really seen that piece, that piece there used like that before where you could just slide it and it will stay in place. So Got a couple more of those great logo pieces on the top. Obsessed with this windscreen. A lot of sets around this era, the 80s, the 90s, used this windscreen. Different patterns, prints, colors. It's just a great classic piece. Obsessed with these gigantic wheels as well. I know I mentioned it in the haul video that I couldn't tell from the pictures when I was looking for this lot if these were the largest like Imtron wheels for the core magnetizer or not, but it ended up being these and I'm totally fine with that because this is a great little set. Obviously the core magnetizer is on my bucket list to own someday, but getting several of the Space Police one sets and Blacktron one sets was an even greater find to me just because it was something I never really thought I would get to own. So great set all around. I'll definitely be attempting to complete this series eventually, although it is very expensive to get these sets. This set, I saw one for about $12 on Bricklink, which for, you know, 25, 26 pieces might be a bit high, but the minifigure does go for several dollars by itself. So I can see why this set might be around $12. Definitely a set I think you could eventually part out if you wanted to, since it's only a handful of pieces, and a lot of which are generic. So it might be cheaper to part it out. I'm not sure. Just depends on who you're buying from and how many of the pieces they have available. So possibly a part out set but definitely a cute little set. This one was actually the cheapest one I saw on Bricklink, was like $50, and that I thought was insane for a 135 piece set. That's really high. So I don't know if I would recommend purchasing a set of this size for $50, but if you can find it cheaper, then definitely go for it. Again, not a ton of really rare pieces, so it might be something you could part out for cheaper, but I love Space Police 1. I'm obsessed with it now. Thanks again to the subscriber that sent me this little set. That's super awesome. And if you get the opportunity, I definitely recommend checking out the Space Police 1 theme. Thank you 
for watching. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. I post new videos every Monday and Thursday. See you next time.